What's up everybody? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple released the fifth beta of iOS 11. I've got it installed here on my iPhone 6s and there are a number of features and changes to talk about so let's jump right into the video. So we have reached the fifth beta of iOS 11, just a couple more weeks to go before the official release, and I do have it installed here on my iPhone 6s, so to show you guys the before and after, it actually was a download of about 327 megabytes, not too bad at all, and beforehand I had about 56.25 gigabytes of free storage, afterwards I had 56.32, so I did lose a very minimal amount of storage, which is always a nice thing to see. So what is new in iOS 11 beta 5? Well first up we got a couple of new icons, if you look at the settings icon down there it actually is a little bit darker and a little bit sleeker looking also if you go ahead and look at the camera application they removed some of the lines that they used to have on the icon and now it's just a little bit simpler as well so those are the two new icons we got in the fifth beta of iOS 11 now another feature is in the control center they've added a bunch of new features here if you go into the volume rocker you can see that the icon is a lot larger at the top along with the slider itself and this also goes for the brightness slider as well now also the music widget as you can see, it has a little animated icon in the upper right, and if you 3D touch on it, you can see that it shows you the icon for what device you're currently connected to, and another icon for you to open up AirPlay and play some music on other connected devices. So very, very cool feature there. Another new feature in Control Center is when you actually screen record, if you go ahead and click the button, it will actually bring the bar up at the top of the screen like we are used to, but the bar is actually changed to red instead of blue, which is what we saw with some of the jailbreak apps in the past. And then again, you can go ahead and just simply stop the recording just like that. Now, now for messages, Apple actually removed the option to have messages in iCloud. It's no longer supported, but they are planning on returning this in a future iOS 11 update, and I do expect that to be available once again in the future. Now if you go into the settings application and go down into your camera, if I can find it here, you should see an option to turn on the grid. Now if you do turn on the grid here and you go into the camera application, it actually added a level if you're taking flat photos or downward facing photos, as you can see right there, it allows you to line up the photo perfectly. So a nice little feature there to help you take better pictures on your iPhone. Also in the settings application, if you go into general, then background app refresh, and then you can see the option here at the top. They actually added a new toggle that allows you to allow apps to refresh on Wi-Fi only or using cellular data as well. So that's nice as well if you want to keep track of how much data you're using or just limit the apps in the background from using it. Now it looks like Apple is a little bit confused. They actually keep changing their Siri and search tab right here in the settings application. In beta 4 this was just called Siri. Now they returned the name Siri and search. So we'll just have to see what they come up with with the next beta and the final release. Now if you actually go into wiggle mode, you will notice that it is just slightly slower than it used to be. Probably hard to notice unless you have two devices right next to each other, but it is different. Also new in the FaceTime application, they will actually allow you to take live photos from within FaceTime, and they have added a new calling sound for when you're calling someone using FaceTime. Both interesting features. Now in terms of specific bug fixes, they have fixed an issue which caused videos not to be sent via AirPlay when they were in full screen mode. They've also fixed an item where dragging items to the calendar app would actually not work. Now they have enabled that. So in terms of general stability, performance, and battery life, guys, it generally seems the same to me thus far as beta 4 for the first few hours that I've used it, but I am sure that there are some bug fixes behind the scenes, and many of them are just for security, so we really won't be able to see too many of those on the surface, but they are there. But in a nutshell, guys, those are the new features and bug fixes of iOS 11 beta 5, and that is what's new. I expect the performance and the stability to keep getting better as we get more and more betas now we are only one month away guys so get excited for the final release of ios 11 anyway if you did like this video be sure to click the subscribe button down there it greatly helps me out and be sure to drop a like on this video i will also link my twitter facebook google plus and my website along with my instagram and my patreon and other links down there in the description for you guys to follow me so be sure to check those out and stay excited guys keep checking out my channel for all the latest news on apple and thank you for watching stay awesome and i'll catch you next time peace